Now dear student, we are going to discuss question number 8.17 and in this question it is given to you a rocket is fired vertically with a speed of 5 km per second from earth surface. Clear? So let's suppose here I am drawing one diagram. So concentrate and let's suppose I am saying this is earth. Let's suppose this is earth. Clear? And we are firing a rocket from surface of a earth. So let's suppose here we have a rocket. Let's suppose this is initial position of rocket. Clear? It is given here. Uh, we are firing vertically with the speed 5 km per second. Okay, fine. Clear? Now, our objective in this question is here. How far from the earth does the rocket go before returning to earth? Clear? So let's suppose this rocket is going at a certain height. And let's suppose at position B, its final velocity becomes 0. Clear? Now, let us try to understand why this velocity of this rocket is decreasing. Because this rocket is going under the influence of gravity. Clear? Under the influence of gravity means we can say the force, uh, force of gravitational force that is acting in a downward direction and the direction of motion of this rocket in upward direction. Clear? So definitely we can say that force is actually uh, behaving just like a retarding force. Clear? And we can say its velocity decreases with height. Clear? So let's suppose I am assuming here total height or total distance between A and B we have that is small h. Clear? Between A and B we have distance that is small h. Clear? So now our objective is what? Our objective here is to calculate value of h. Clear? Value of h. So now you can see this rocket is going under the influence of gravity. It means we know that gravitational force is a conservative force. Whenever we have a conservative forces are acting on any system, we can apply conservation of mechanical energy. Clear? So I can apply here conservation of mechanical energy between point A and B. Clear? So now I am writing here initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy. This should be equal to final kinetic energy plus final potential energy. Clear? Now you can see here initial speed is given to you. I am assuming that is V. Clear? So half of mv square plus. Now if I talk about potential energy. Clear? So let's suppose I am saying this is a center of this earth. Clear? And radius we know. Let's suppose I am saying that is Re. Clear? Or you can say that is capital R. Clear? So we can say just a minute. Yes. So we can, uh, actually we are taking here value of radius that is capital R. Clear? So from here you can write uh, value of potential energy. Clear? So what is expression of potential energy? Potential energy expression we have minus G M E. M E is what? This is mass of earth. Clear? M E M divided by I can say that is R. Clear? R is the radius of this earth. Now if we are talking about point number B, at point number B, we are having final velocity 0. It means I can say kinetic energy at that point is 0. And what about potential energy? Potential energy we can write like this. This is minus GMEM divided by, I can say what is total distance from center of earth. That is R plus H. So we can write like this. This is R plus H. Clear to everyone? So now from here, we can write like this. Half of M or you can say M m and m this one is cancelled out clear this one is cancelled out now if you multiply with two both side we can also write like this v square minus twice g m e divide by r and this should be equal to minus 2 g m e divide by r plus h clear so from here we can write like this this is 2 g m e divide by r plus h this is equal to clear 2g m e divided by r minus v square clear so if i take here lcm i can also write like this 2g m e divided by r plus h this should be equal to clear uh, if if we take here lcm that is capital r clear so we can write like this this is 2g m e minus i can say this is v square r divided by we can say that is R. Clear? So now if you multiply, if you cross multiply, you can write like this 
R plus H, this should be equal to 2G M E and multiplied with R divided by, clear? Divided by, this is 2G M E minus V square R, clear? Now what we can do? Now we, we have to put all the values here, clear? So definitely uh, there is some complex calculation is here. So now concentrate. We are actually uh, going to solve uh, this expression, clear? Concentrate on the screen. Yes, now concentrate, clear? From here we can write like this, R plus H, R plus H, this is equal to 2G M E R divided by 2G M E minus V square R, clear? Now we can put here all the values, so I am writing here R plus H, this should be equal to 2 multiply value of capital G value of capital G we have 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 so 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 multiply mass of earth mass of earth means we can see that is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg clear so 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg multiplied okay what about radius radius of earth we have 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 clear it is divided by it is divided by we can say 2 multiply 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 multiply what is mass of earth mass of earth is given 6 into 10 to the power 24 minus what about uh, velocity initial velocity of rocket that is 5 kilometer per second so we can write like this this is 5 into 10 to the power 3 whole square multiply radius of earth radius of earth we have 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 clear yes now we have to solve this expression now you can say sir it's a lengthy calculation yes we have but uh, if you uh, if you solve it wisely definitely you can actually decrease here number of terms clear now concentrate first uh, i am removing this expression clear so that we get some space here yep now now let us try to understand, first I am saying this is 2 multiply 6.67 multiply 6 into 10 to the power 24 and this is 10 to the power minus 11. So I can say this is 10 to the power 13 multiply 6.4 clear and we have here 10 to the power 6. So we can say 10 to the power 90 clear. Again I am saying 10 to the power minus 11 24 uh, that is 10 to the power 13 and 6 19 clear. Now we can also write like this, this is what 2 into 6.67 into 10 to the power, uh, we can say again 13 multiplied with I can say 6 minus, this is what 25 into 10 to the power 6 multiply 6.6 and I can say here we have 10 to the power 6 also, clear? It means I can write like this, if I remove this 10 to the power 6 and I can say here we can write this is 10 to the power 12 clear so now what we can write here we can say r plus h this is given by r plus h is given by now this is 10 to the power 13 listen carefully 10 to the power 13 if i remove this decimal i can say this is 100 and if i remove this decimal i can say this is 10 so now we can say this is 10 to the power 11 and this one is also 10 to the power 11 clear so from here we can see r plus h r plus h is given by 2 into 6.67 into 6 into 6.4 into 10 to the power 19 divided by now listen carefully 2 into 667 into uh, 6 you can take here one observation 10 to the power 11 and 10 to the power 11 we can take common and we can cancel with 10, uh, 10 to the power 19 so directly you can say here we are having 10 to the power 8 clear so this value we are getting only 10 to the power 8 
clear now now what we left here this is 2 multiply 667 into i can say 6 clear minus 25 into now i can say this is 64 clear to everyone now now we have to solve it uh, so how can we say uh, we can actually write like this listen very carefully what i am saying to you r plus h this is equal to this is equal to here we have 6.67 uh, clear here we have 667 clear and here we have 64 clear so how can we write uh, we can first uh, actually just we can write like this this is 30 uh, we can say 6.67 into 12 into 6.4 multiply 10 to the power 8 clear to you 6.67 multiply 12 multiply 6.4 into 10 to the power 8 and I can say this is 12 multiply 667 minus 25 into 64 clear so now if you if you observe here you can see we can take here uh, let's suppose if I am dividing here with 10 and multiplying with 10 listen carefully what I am saying to you if I am multiplying with 10 here in this expression multiplying with 10 and dividing with 10 so if I multiply I am dividing I can say this is 2.5 and if I multiply, I can say this is 640. Clear? So, approximately, approximately I am saying this 667 and 640 approximately equal to same because we have to simplify this expression. That's why I am taking. Actually, I know this is not a uh, very near to each other. But let's suppose uh, if we are saying this one and this one is approximately same. Clear? I can say here this is 100. So, from here we can write here R plus H. This is given by this one this one and this one is cancelled out clear so directly i can see uh, that is 12 multiply 64 into here we have 3 10 to the power 5 divided by 12 minus 2.5 clear clear yes now we can say this is 12 this is 2.5 so we can say this is 9.5 let's suppose i'm taking 10 clear so if this is 10 i can say 12 into 64 into 10 to the power 4 clear from here if you multiply you can see this is 8 we have 4 uh, 12 6 uh, that is 72 i can say this is 76 into 10 to the power 4 clear so approximately what i am saying to you you will get here value r plus h this is equal to 8 into 10 to the power uh, this one 8 into 10 to the power 6 meter clear you will get here approximate this value r plus h clear but now what is my objective in this question my objective is clear we have to calculate here value of h clear so how can i calculate value of h yes now we can say we can write like this this is 8 into 10 to the power 6 meter clear so value of h this is given by 8 into 10 to the power 6 minus r clear so 8 into 10 to the power 6 minus value of r value of r we have uh, we can see that is 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 clear so from here i can write like this 1.6 into 10 to the power 6 meter clear 1.6 into 10 to the power 6 meter clear and from here you can also say we can write like this, this is 1600 kilometer clear so this is a value of height that is height that is gained by this rocket before uh, we can say before uh, coming to rest clear so this is all about this question